Oh, hi, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting up the UK. Just a very, very quick one. Um, I've just seen that um, the amnesty has been scrapped. Boris Johnson is not allowed now to um, have amnesty for illegal immigrants, as if that was ever going to go through. I mean, people say a lot of tosh when they're trying to get, you know, when they're trying to be favoured and trying to look good. I mean, but I knew there's no way that they were going to allow amnesty. I mean, this has been in the works for ages. Ireland did it and was pretty successful. I think they did it a few, couple of years ago. But there's no way the UK was going to have amnesty. So now, what are they saying? Apparently, it's going to cost too much. Boris is scratching his head. I don't know where they got that photograph from. But it's saying the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, has been urged to scrap his amnesty for illegal immigrants amid warnings it could cost taxpayers up to £2.5 billion. Don't you think he knew that beforehand? Thing is, is that they... They assume that people are going to be on the dole, mind you. The way that the economy is looking probably will be on the dole. We'll all be on the dole at some point. Um, Migration Watch said allowing as many as half a million illegals access to full benefits and public services could cost a fortune as it launched a new campaign to stop the move. Okay, so what kind of benefits are they talking? Are they talking about retirement? Are they talking about, are they assuming that people are going to be on universal credit, public services, I guess, when they're illegal, they can't use any of the NHS or anything like that. So it's going to cost in that way. But we're going to go public anyway. We're going to go private anyway with the NHS. So it's not even going to, it's not even going to matter, to be honest. We're up the creek without a paddle as it is. Uh, Boris was urged to bin his amnesty for illegal immigrants amid warnings it could cost taxpayers. The influential think tank said that amnesty being looked at by the new Prime Minister will only encourage more migrants to try and enter the UK or overstay their visa. I think people have had enough of the UK. Illegal immigrants, they ain't going to want to come and stay here. They've had it. So if anything, they're going to be shipping themselves out and going back where they came from. So I don't think that's a worry at all. I think the only people who might try to stay here, to be honest, are those who have children who have established relationships and who really do not want to leave their partners. And their partners do not, their British partners do not want to go to the country of the person that they are with to live. I think that's the only kind of circumstances where there might be some resistance. But I can't imagine now with all the hype and with all the exposure of what it's like if you're illegal to live in the United Kingdom, why anybody would want to come here who is not who hasn't got their proper papers. Um, so amnesty, I'm not quite sure how many people would take that up, but I guess it's a like I said, it's a it would be a it would have been it's not going to happen, but it would have been great for people like I said, established families and things like that. But anyway, um, it marks the first big test for the new Home Secretary, Pretty Patel, hmm. who yesterday insisted that Brexit would finally allow Britain to again regain control of its borders. Migration Watch Chair Alp Mehmet stormed Boris Johnson's first call for an amnesty for illegal immigrants when he was campaigning to be Mayor of London. With respect to our new Prime Minister, he was wrong then and is wrong now. What makes me laugh is that the people who are saying this are obviously from an immigrant background. And, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Maybe I shouldn't make such assumptions by their names, because that's what people do. They make assumptions through people's names. And that's what the problem was with all those people who couldn't get rent houses and who got reported. Because their names were a bit dodgy, or what they considered dodgy, they reported them. And that's why, um, you know... Anyway, Boris Johnson last week reiterated comments during the Tory leadership campaign and said he would look at an amnesty for those migrants who have been in the UK legally, illegally for over 15 years. Oh, so he's still going to look at it. Is Boris the person I really think he is then? If he's really going to look at it. 
I don't know. Boris might surprise us, you know. I'm not quite sure. I, I can't get him yet. You know, when I listen to him, he sounds pretty effective. But I'm not sure. You know when you're not sure? Yeah, he's one to watch. I'll have to see. Because if he's still considering after all of that, people have been over 15 years. Okay, over 15 years, where does that put us? Um, 2000. I would have thought, not over 15 years, I would have said over 20 years. The people who were here over 20 years. Because you've got that section of people who got caught up um, because of the Windrush and because parents didn't register their children. So, uh, personally... He should kind of do it between, up to, say, about 1993. That gives people adequate time to have registered. And if they didn't know they were registered, that would stop all of those children becoming potentially stateless or, or you know, being illegal and undocumented. It would protect those that generation of people. But I think 20 years, 15 years is a bit, I think it should be a bit longer than that. That's just personally. Because I would be seeking to protect those people of the Windrush generation who didn't. And when the laws changed in 19... The British Nationality Act changed in 1981, which was came out in 1983, and stopped people automatically being citizens. A lot of people got caught up in that, not being documented because their parents didn't document them or register them or whatever they did. You know, they registered. Well, they got the birth certificate and assumed the birth certificate um, meant that they were citizens, and they didn't realise that there was a second process after that, 1983. So I would like those people captured in an amnesty. But other people after that, you know, they should know a lot better. And so those people. Anyway, that's just my thoughts as usual. Um, Migration Watch said amnesties had been tried and failed in Italy, Spain, France and in the past 20 years, with numbers trying to enter the country group each time. But people can't be coming in under an amnesty. They would have already had to been here. So that's a bit silly. It's not for people who are coming in. Anyway, stepping up enforcement is the only way forward, the think tank said. Anyway, they got they got a problem with that, but they don't mind spending billions on um, other things. So I guess it all depends where they want to put their money. Anyway, I said this was going to be quick and sweet, short and sweet, and that's it. Bye bye.